Good morning. Welcome to Radio Friends on Monday, April the 3rd. My dear friend is right next to me, Kathy Salter. Good to have you here, Kathy <laughs> Hello, Salter. Young man. <laughs> we share a lot in common. We're the same age. Yes, he's older than I am by about two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. But Kathy is here to tell us about the Unbound Book Festival, which is coming up later this month, right? It's coming up April, Friday, April 21st, and Saturday, April 22nd. And on Friday the 21st, we have internationally acclaimed author Salman Rushdie, mm -hmm. who uh, is speaking at Jesse Hall, and that is going to be a very exciting evening. And then uh, all day Saturday, we have the book festival uh, with authors and panels on the Stevens College campus. Yeah. That is April 23rd. Yep. This is the second year, just the second yeah. year. Yeah, and I um, remember last year you were so excited about uh, it coming. What the, the, the purpose of the Unbound Book Festival is what? Well, there's a concern about literacy in Missouri. Missouri has one of the lowest literacy rates of all the states. And we also have this amazing uh, assembly of writers in the Columbia area who are writing major books and doing book talks around the country. And uh, we have film festivals, art festivals, art in the park, all kinds of festivals, root and blue, Roots and Blues, but there was no book festival. Mm -hmm. And Alex George, who has written The Good American and has a brand new book that's come out called Setting Free the Kites, that's uh, currently getting a great deal of attention around the country, brought a group of people together and said, do you think Columbia would support a book festival? And we all said, yes. Mm. And he said, what about having it be completely free so that everyone can come? And we all said, yes. And we had zero money. <laughs> you, had to go out, so you had to go out and raise we funds. We went out and raised the funds we got the library support, Barnes and Noble's support, the university support, the Columbia Tribune, all kinds of sponsors. And we had a dynamite first year festival last year that the authors who came couldn't believe we hadn't been doing it for years. Now, do you feel that this year is going to be bigger and better than last We're year? We're not looking to have to grow it a lot, just like uh, the True False Film Festival likes being a community festival and mm -hmm. not get too big for its britches. So we have uh, changed it a little bit. We're going to have panels that will be at Macklinburg Playhouse, and those will bring um, authors who write on certain subjects together to talk as a panel about that kind of writing. Yeah. Uh, for example, crime writers or mystery writers or writers who always have a dog in their story. Yeah, you know. yeah. And then we will have on the rest of the campus uh, throughout the day, we'll have author talks where two authors interview each other. And those two authors have a similar, write in a similar genre. Now, is there, is there a website people can go to to get all the information? There's a beautiful website called unboundbookfestival.com. Okay. And you can find out the venues, you can get a bio of each of the authors coming. What will be maps, going on the whole time. Everything that's going on. And um, it, the Columbia Tribune ha is running ads about the festival. This is about one of the panels okay. where all the authors are writing about war. Right. Some aspect of it. Kathy, war. always a pleasure to have yes. you. I know you've got Hope a lot more to there. say. <laughs> <laughs> I know you have much more to say, but we got to turn over here to uh, Peter, Peter now. But you can go to the website. It is again unboundbookfestival.com. Okay, thank you very much. C O M. Not C A L M. Com. Com. C O M. Got it. Now, uh, Peter. Miyamoto Hi. is with us. Good to have you here, Peter. Good to see you again. From the uh, Plowman Competition and Festival. Festival, that's right. And this is when? Uh, it is taking uh, place April 6th through the 9th. Mm -hmm. We've got a whole lot of events. It is a national competition. We bring in 15 of the nation's best young ensembles, and they fight it out on our Saturday semifinal rounds. They each play about 25 minutes. 25 minutes? And then five are chosen for the finals, which takes place on Sunday. Uh, and we have an international uh, panel of judges, three judges. One of them is Joel Krosnick, who was for 40 years the uh, cellist of the Juilliard String Quartet. Mm -hmm. He will be presenting a recital 
on Thursday night, April 6th at 7 o'clock at First Baptist Church. We also have on the panel Alessio Bax, who's one of the younger, uh, great pianists, international career, plays all over the world. Um, he's giving a free recital at Whitmore Recital Hall on Friday the 7th at 7.30. April the 7th. That's right. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm listening to Kathy and listening to you and realize how fortunate we are in central Missouri to have all of these events available to us. I mean, it, just, it, it is amazing for a community our size what's available to the citizens it's here. quite incredible. Yeah. Now, how did this come about? Um, well, this is our, I believe it's our eighth competition and uh, we started it back in 2005 and it's now uh, for a couple years it was every year and now it's uh, biennial mm -hmm. so so how many musicians all together will be performing Ooh, well the the competition it brings in 15 ensembles they are uh, groups that are either th well between three and six members they are it's a fascinating day of semifinals because you get all sorts of different groups you get the semifinals will be when on Saturday uh, at First Baptist Church from 9 till 12 then we take a break then 2 to 5 and is there a charge for this um, there is for uh, that it's a uh, $15 for the sessions and you can come and go as you like that whole day oh so yeah. you pay $15 mm -hmm. and you come to as many right, as you right, want right come a little while leave and come right, back again right right and then on uh, and the uh, and on the the finals are at 1 30 at uh, the Missouri theater and that is $25 for uh, general admission, I believe $15 for students. And how long will it last? Um, it, there will be five uh, final groups, and they each play about half an hour. Um, one of the great things is there's also an audience prize. So um, An audience you, prize? That's right. So if you stay for the whole thing, there's actually over $10,000 in... Uh, prizes for this event. Not for the audience. So. No, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but if you, how but much if, are the tickets? <laughs> Twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars. You win ten thousand. Right. No, no. Okay, but there's an audience. That's prize right. Here. So people, while the the judges are deliberating on who they choose as the winner, okay. um, the audience also gets to put in their. Um, they're okay. safe. How do they get tickets? We're about out of time. Um, uh, PlowmanCompetition.org. Go www.plowman, P-L-O-W-M-A-N, competition.org. And good. you can get tickets for uh, Any all of, of these the events. events right. All right. Thank you so much for coming by. And best of luck Thank with you. it. All right. We're out of time for today, tomorrow, the League of Women Voters. And we'll tell you about Capital City Productions. I want to remind you our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Agers from KBIA. Our floor director is Lowell Thomas and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mouser. Drop me an email, pepperp.missouri.edu. Bye-bye.